Hello students, welcome to La Excellence. Welcome to the session on Diary of Events 2016. As you are all aware, every year in Jan, the Hindu releases their Diary of Events that has actually happened in the last one year. They usually take up the important issues which happened in a particular day and they try to give it here. We have seen there are few questions in prelims exam based on these topics as well. Rather than reading the entire thing, sometimes we may miss few issues. So, to help us understand what were some of the major events that happened, to which subject we have to link and from which paper, which question will come, we have to understand. So in this session, I'll be taking this diary of events. I'll show you the date and a significant event that has actually happened and tell you what exactly you should look into this. Sometimes we recommend students to start their preparation for current affairs from June previous year. But with the number of current affairs questions increasing nowadays, UPSC is also focusing on few questions which are more than two years. Sometimes some questions come from 2013 current affairs as well. As we cannot go and see that particular event, if we can actually identify the issue here and relate it to the event that has actually happened before, that is, if an event has occurred in 2013, UPSC will ask a question in 2016 only if the issue still persists. So if this issue is still there, then only UPSC will ask you, else UPSC will not ask you a question on that. So some forgotten issue, UPSC will not ask you. So let us see which are these issues which we feel is outdated and what are the significant topics you have to cover even within those areas, right? So this diary of events is released by the Hindu on Jan 10th, 2017. If you have not taken the hard copy of this, this will be available on our website. Please download it. Have a hard copy. Along with that, please maintain a book and a pen where whenever I talk about a particular issue, along with that issue, please try to make a note what exactly you have to see and what else you need to read about a particular topic. I hope this is fine. So let's move to the first events that is initially you have national events and then you have international events. International events are very less. National events we need to see carefully. So we will be explaining things more in detail from the national issues. We will be covering international as well. Fine. So first let us take the national issues. So if you see the first issue itself actually talks about Delhi rolls out odd even scheme. Right? So here we are talking about odd even. And as you are aware, this is actually associated with air pollution control measure. You know that recently also Delhi was considered to be a gas chamber in winter. And the reason for this is when fog happens in winter, the smoke, whichever is released, will combine with the fog to form smoke. So when these two are combined together, then usually it is very difficult for the people to breathe. So as the issue is with respect to air pollution, 
the number of questions that can be expected from this need not be only from the odd even and the recent gas chamber let us see first geography where they may ask you a question with respect to fog so you have to see with respect to the fog as well or what are the conditions which lead to the formation of fog so after fog we have to see with respect to what is normal lapse rate and what are the conditions under which this normal lapse rate is going to reverse we know that in geography with increasing height temperature decreases but the reversal of this condition is usually observed in continentality there you will be reading in geography what are the conditions which actually leads to this reversal especially in winter in areas near delhi so this becomes important for you third important aspect that you need to observe is with respect to air pollution from environment and ecology point of view please list out the things which actually leads to air pollution that is gases which leads to air pollution list out particulate matter sulfate matters nitrate all these in detail after listing air pollution the other important aspect you need to know is with respect to the government acts with respect to air pollution not just odd even scheme but is there any other government plans to restrict air pollution so this we need to focus the second important issue that we need to highlight here is with respect to pathan coat air base where we are all aware that there was a terror attack whenever we are talking with respect to india pakistan security threat border management from internal security point of view when punjab is asked because punjab is an elections drugs case all these are there pathan coat air base incident is very very important so please try to look at it even when the question is asked about india pakistan relationship it is always important for you in the introduction itself if you can write about this it will be beneficial then on jan 16th you have something called as startup india and stand up india you know that this scheme was launched by the prime minister though it is one year back after one year there will be some positives about it for example whenever a scheme is released in india it will be released only for few sectors or in few districts once it becomes successful it will be implemented in other areas as well when it becomes successful and if any modifications are being made then usually upsc may ask you a question from this particular topic so with this point please be careful that try to read startup india and stand up india once after this on jan 20th you have something called irnss 1e as you are all aware that india has its own gps system today as it is seven it is named as navic as well and there are major benefits of this navic as it is being integrated with the coastal boats and the fishermen boats it is expected that fishermen crossing the international border or entering into the exclusive economic zones of other areas will be easy guarding india's border if you take land border 15200 kilometers is very very difficult to guard along with that when we look at 7517.7 kilometers of coastal boundary along with exclusive economic zones is very difficult for us to guard so under these circumstances the navic will be beneficial always remember whenever we talk about science and technology whether it is from defense point of view 
or it is from space technology point of view understanding the uses of this and writing them in your answers will be much more beneficial than only the technical aspects of that fine so this two things are very very important after this please see feb 2nd on feb 2nd can you notice here there is something called a section 377 of ipc this is actually associated with the lgbt adults in private so section 377 is a news from 2013 14 itself and every year in social issues we are expecting a question on section 377 unfortunately till now upsc has not asked any question on this so please be careful nowadays upsc is focusing one or two issues which were in news from 2013 onwards not just 2013 even beyond that if there is an issue which is continuing till now questions are asked about it for example you take arab spring they asked where did arab spring start the reason for this is syrian issue is extension of the arab spring so whenever there is continuation of any topic there is a tendency that UPSC asks you questions about that particular issue as well. So please be careful about this. Then on Feb 3rd, you have a news about the Siachen Glacier and avalanches. And here I want to tell you, whenever there is any incident of this sort, first thing with the help of Atlas, Try to identify where this is present, in which mountain ranges it is present, whether it is present in greater Himalayas, Pirpanjal ranges, Shivaliks, all these informations are crucial. Sometimes it will be near a pass. So you need to remember these passes as well. And after this, in 11th standard NCRT book, where the physical geography of the world is given and you will see with respect to erosion, weathering, slides, avalanches, landslides, all these are clearly given. Please try to revise from geography point of view what exactly have they talked. So that will be more than enough for you. After this, we need to see Feb 19th, where the focus is on Jat reservation issue in Haryana. Why is this important? Earlier, reservation questions were actually on the basis of whether it should be given to the so-called backward communities because of their problems. Justifications were asked. Today, we are seeing that Marathas in Maharashtra Patels in Gujarat and Jats in Haryana, the so-called forward castes are asking for reservation. So what is the impact of it on reservations? Or what is the reason for this? Jobless growth in the economy? And as less jobs are there and more number of people are participating in that, you will see that obviously everyone wants certain benefits. So to curb this, what measures need to be taken is to ensure jobs are increased. So from social issues point of view, the so-called caste biasness, which led to reservation, what should be done in polity as well about the positive discrimination given in article 15 and 16 needs to be read carefully. After this, the next issue is about Arunachal Pradesh. You might have read about the constitutional issues. UPSC has already asked the question in 2016 about the center state relations because of this Arunachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Delhi and other issues. So need not worry about it, but please be careful at any time whenever they talk about this you need to focus on these concepts as well. 
then you have to read about Feb 28th, where the focus is on formation of Bank Board Bureau, where CAG Vinod Rai was made its first chairman. Try to read about it, what exactly they want to focus in this. Right? Then on March 7th, Harsha Chauda Shah, India's first test tube baby gives birth. So sometimes it is asked, we hope they will not ask factual questions this year, but just for the sake of knowing few factual informations, it becomes important. Then you have March 10th real estate bill passed by the Rajya Sabha. As we are all aware, real estate bill along with demonetization and you also have Binami property transactions and other stuff, whichever is coming has some intentions now. So UPSC will never ask you a question if the bill is not passed. Once the bill is passed, high possibility that UPSC will ask a question about it. Whenever you are reading a bill or an act, try to understand or collect information about these three issues. The first one is, was there any bill or act before this? If there was any bill before this or act before this, what were the loopholes which were present in the previous act? Introduction of yours should be that. And whenever you are talking about the provisions of the present bill, try to show that the problems which were there in the previous bill is addressed in this bill. After this, the third point that you should see in conclusion is that what else needs to be addressed? Yes, we have seen the first one, what was not there in the previous bill. Then we saw this bill or act is planning to address these issues and in conclusion, what else is left? So when you can see all these three, it will be easy for you to understand. Next, we'll be focusing on March 14th, where we have to see this SYL canal, Satlaj Yamuna canal. Punjab elections are coming and this issue is important. Indus water and Ganges water connectivity, what are the impacts? All this information you need to collect. Last time the question was interstate water, but directly also UPSC may ask you, what exactly are we focusing on the Satlaj Yamuna kennel issue? Or how can this problem be solved? Can we look at alternative sources? All this needs to be addressed. Then on April 5th, you have something called as Gatiman Express, which is the fastest train in the country, right? So with this, in this page, there is nothing much that you need to focus. Let's see the next date. So here on April 8th, if you can see, there is something with respect to Shani Shingapur issue. Please try to make a note from women issues point of view. Please remember guys, whenever you are collecting information, don't see whether there can be a question from that topic only in prelims. You can use that in mains as well. So both in prelims and mains, this issues become important. Here my suggestion to you is, please try to collect information which you can use in essay, which you can use in social issues, which you can use in governance, which you can actually use in science and technology, disaster management, international relations, internal security, 
why i'm writing all this is to ensure that these are the areas which are there only for mains and most of the students they usually neglect these issues while reading for prelims so your approach should be both so i'm telling you please try to collect information for mains also right so can you see here april 8th shani singapur issue in women's issues you have to write about this april 17th we are seeing patidar community issue again this is associated with reservation from the so called high higher caste or forward caste and then on april 28th please observe on april 28th you have something with respect to navik navigation with indian constellation correct this is what i was talking to you with respect to the concept on gps of india then please observe may 1st where you have to focus on pradhan mantri ujjwala yojana where they are talking about lpg connections to women in bpl sector again this was recently talked in the budget as well so please be careful about this issue then you have on may 2nd kalka shimla mountain railway in himachal pradesh so even this issue can be asked so 113 year old kalka shimla mountain railway in himachal pradesh was partially damaged so from geography point of view they may ask you with respect to the passes which are actually in between then on june 15th you have national civil aviation policy this is important because whenever there are any accidents of aircrafts or if there is any problem with the aircrafts at that time national civil aviation policy is questioned so even in future if something of this sort happens it may be important for you so please try to have a copy of civil aviation policy so you may ask me sir whenever we read about these policies the biggest issue is that we don't have what exactly we need to see in the policy because the policies are huge so usually if you can read the summary or the preface of it you will understand what exactly is the focus of that particular policy and collecting 150 words should not be difficult for you and on june 22nd you have isro's pslv c34 which is actually launching 20 satellites at that point of time so the importance of this is that once india showcases that it can successfully launch 20 satellites now we can see that the isro is also launching 100 satellites at a time so something of this sort shows to the world about our capacity so our space wing can actually get investments or we can have new market where we can sell the space technologies along with launching satellites of other countries always remember if indian satellite is launched by any other country they can also get partial information from that satellites so if india is giving some satellites it depends upon the conditions or the memorandum of understanding that we undergo if we are giving to bangladesh if we are giving to nepal and other countries you may talk about the sark satellite as well most of the people believe that isn't it a waste but if you are launching along with other satellites it will not be a waste and if you are going for this sark satellite it will be easy for us to guard the borders which is now very difficult for us and along with this if we can provide them access to some of the basic necessities free of cost then these countries will not move towards china because 
China is planning to give satellites for these countries. And the second important thing is China is planning to sell weapons to most of these countries. When it sells its weapons and if these weapons are associated with the Chinese satellites, then these people are forced to use the Chinese satellites. There, Chinese influence will increase and China can start getting information about the borders as well. So to avoid the presence of other countries in our region, we need to ensure that India takes a first step in providing some of the basic facilities that are required for other countries which can be done at an affordable cost without being questioned from within the country that why are we spending so much money right and then on june 27th india formally became a member of missile technology control regime as a 34 member group we all know that india is aiming to become a member of nsg but nsg you have issues with china but china was not a member of mtcr so it was easy for india to get everyone was actually focusing on nsg but upsc may ask a question on mtcr as well so let's be careful about this particular issue and know what exactly mtcr is if you can open wikipedia and see some of the basic information when did it start who were the major countries who are involved what are the main ambitions of that it is more than enough no need to read much in detail about mtcr as i told you if i start explaining each one of this in detail then the session will go on for five to eight hours but what i will do some of the major topics which are required from prelims point of view where we have to see from different subjects along with that particular content i will take another class on this but as of now if you have already read so try to ensure that you revise whatever i am talking then if you can see july 1st we have something with respect to light combat aircraft tejas recently the air force has told that they want a newer version and work is going on this so just try to see from defense point of view what exactly it is and on july 6th there's something called as patti seema project linking krishna and godavari this was asked in prelims 2006 already this is the reason why we say some factual data becomes important whenever we read these particular issues then july 8th supreme court's verdict on afspa is very very important it can come in polity paper so please be careful about it very rarely they may ask you a question in internal security then july 10th can you see that kudun kulam nuclear power plant attains criticality what is the meaning of the term criticality can be a question so please be careful one thing you all need to understand is that June, July, when exam was in August, lot of questions which came was from June, July. This year exam is in June. So please try to focus on April and May. The time when most of the students will stop reading newspapers. This is what we keep saying. Most of the exams conducted in this country will frame questions only when notification is released so either they may ask you questions which are related to that particular point when they are framing questions or if they are asking much before linkages to the news which is present during that time becomes important so apart from that from behind if you are seeing anything just try to link it or try to collect some information to write in the subjects that I mentioned earlier. On July 11th, can you see about the Una town of Gir, Somnath district? So this is with respect to Dalit's issues. So we need to focus on this. 
about social issues when they ask you from here there were some processions revolts few people say dalit revolution in the country has started all this is associated with this so please sociologists anthropologists and even for social issues this topic becomes important then see july 21st it is with respect to international relations where prime minister narendra modi and his bangladeshi counterpart sheikh hasina jointly inaugurate the petropol benapol integrated check post in kolkata we know that in internal security border management is one topic and within the border management what we need to focus is with respect to guarding illegal migration when it comes to bangladesh so to guard this illegal migration india alone had tried many times but it is not successful earlier bangladesh used to say that there is no illegal migration from bangladesh to india but recently we have seen some blasts in west bengal where these borders were used by the bangladeshi terrorists to enter into india and from india they are fighting against the bangladesh sheikh hasina government when this happened sheikh hasina realized that it is important to guard the border so the new border management that we usually see with bangladesh is integrated check posts when it comes to pakistan border we cannot hope and expect integrated check posts there there the focus is mainly about use of technology radars night vision cameras and other things but when it comes to bangladesh we have good relations so to maintain that good relations combined efforts will be beneficial after this please see july 26th where the child labor bill was introduced and it is now under serious consideration as i told you whenever it comes to bills the points that you need to recognize so here also you can see that under 14 to work in the family enterprises this is the loophole that it is allowing the kids to work in family enterprises that was a loophole in the previous as well and it is continuing here as well so these two points are important next on july 27th binami transactions bill and about the bezwada wilson getting rams raman maxase award these two are important the binami transactions from the black money point of view and this from films point of view not only for upsc even for other exams these type of factual data will be important for you then on july 31st connectivity to northeast india from west bengal is possible through bangladesh that has been given here india bangladesh bg link between agartala and akhara the railway is actually very very important for us whenever we talk about lack of development in northeast and the problems that are actually associated there we usually talk about these aspects so please be careful and try to focus on this issue and then in august can you see august 4 this is important with respect to delhi statehood is being asked and the constitutional status with respect to delhi is important please try to read about this once and about bodo militants from internal security point of view every 6 months once there will be bodo's issues and we never know upsc is going to ask about this so please try to revise about the bodo issue carefully and then you have gst bill being passed 
as it is under discussion once it is implemented you can expect a question on this topic then on august 10th you have the kudunkulam project which was jointly presented to the nation dedicated to the nation by prime minister narendra modi vladimir putin and jayalalitha so these three rather than focusing on who inaugurated it's more important for us to focus on the kudun kolam project nuclear technology can be a question so please focus on that and on august 18th you have something about machli the world's oldest tigress in the wild dies at the ranathambore national park in rajasthan's savai madhapur district so there can be a question in environment and ecology about the national park so please be careful about it then on august 20 can you see that maharashtra dafts its own internal security act the first state to do so because internal security is considered to be a threat to the sovereignty of the country and for that mostly the central government is held responsible but for the first time the state has also taken this seriously to protect it then on august 24 the surrogacy commercial surrogacy bill was introduced and we know the significance of this many people were actually expecting a question on this so please be careful that issues in mains are also asked from june july august and september so the process continues the month when most of us don't read for mains and at last on august 29th you have something with respect to india and myanmar where we are talking about the infrastructure connectivity along with this try to read about the kaladan multi modal project as well where the kaladan river which enters into mizoram provides us connectivity with the sitwe port so india myanmar whenever a talks happens it will be with respect to the connectivity and infrastructure projects with the northeast and myanmar is very cooperative in this so we need to focus on this carefully so guys in september see september 2nd where the focus is on ngt gives green signal to visingam seaport sagarmala project everything associated with the sea is crucial for us from geography point of view ir point of view and internal security point of view so try to read and see where exactly it is present and then you had the kaveri issue most of the questions which are asked in mains there is a possibility that they may be asked in next prelims as well so please try to read about the kaveri river in detail if you don't want to focus on the inter state water dispute which is already asked try to see the delta the shapes of the delta all this information with respect to kaveri then the center announces a special package after the jalikattu incident you might have observed that people of andhra pradesh are protesting for the special status so see what is the difference between this what economic benefits the state is going to get what are the criteria under which we had asked for special status so 11 states in india 8 northeastern and jammu and kashmir you have himachal pradesh and uttarakhand mountainous states which border neighboring countries where investments are low and uh, infrastructure problems are more for these states the special category state this was actually given but with the division and the earlier governments agreeing to give special category status to andhra pradesh is more of a political issue today so that becomes important for you to see what are the benefits that this particular state is going to gain and about the september 8th op government issue 
you have to know about the office of prophet which is not given properly anywhere lakshmi kant tries to explain you some portions about the office of prophet try to read it once then from science and tech point of view we have seen gslv f05 places an orbit insat 3d r an advanced weather satellite after lift off from shri harikota gslv launches if it becomes successful it is very very important for us and anything of that sort if you see in news please try to read about it carefully then on september 17th you have india's latest guided missile destroyer marmugo launched at the mazgaon docks in mumbai so this is important it is the latest guided missile destroyer fine then september 18th is about uri attack again whenever you are talking about internal security or with respect to india pakistan relationship this becomes important and on september 21st you have union cabinet planning to merge the railway budget with the regular budget and recently you might have also heard pranab mukherjee saying it is historic so you need to remember that who asked to separate railway budget from the general budget it was the aquad committee so upsc may focus from the history point of view when was it decided and what were the conditions which led to the separation of the railway budget and today was is it a right decision so this we need to focus on september 23rd you need to see france 36 rafael fighter jets indo french relationship along with science and technology there will be lot of issues associated with the fighter nuclear technology and other issues space as well so indo french when you are seeing please try to collect information more about the science and technology rather than collecting only about the economic factors then then focus on indus commission indus water treaty anything with respect to indus can be asked from geography point of view as well so please be prepared for that from science and technology point of view pslv launches eight satellites is important then can you see october 15th where the focus is in between india and russia whenever upsc may ask you russia is growing closer to pakistan and it is moving closer to china what is the impact of this on india when questions of this sort comes these informations may be beneficial for you and then the most important one brics bimstick summit most of the people focused only on the prime minister's criticism on pakistan but many people forgot the reach between brics and bimstick you will be knowing about brics but try to know about the bimstick the countries which are part of it bimstick stands for bay of bengal initiative for multi sectoral technical and economic cooperation there are seven letters in that seven countries are part of it b stands for bangladesh i stands for india m stands for myanmar s stands for sri lanka t stands for thailand e no country is there c china is also not there so for ec it is nepal and bhutan because nepal and bhutan is also dependent on bay of bengal right so please try to read carefully about bimstick they may ask you which are the countries which are part of bimstick or they may tell you all brics countries are part of bimstick or so at that time you have to be careful then please see november 6th where again the air pollution issue is important 
I told you about the gas chamber case about Delhi. So this becomes important. November 7th, India-UK relationship. You can add some points to Indo-UK if you are maintaining notes. Then on November 8th, you know about the demonetization and there can be any question about the demonetization. So please try to read that once. And on November 10th, can you see there is something with respect to the SYL Satlaj Yamuna link where the Supreme Court has told about the act or agreement passed by Punjab to be unconstitutional. So that is important. Whenever it is interstate water dispute, don't think only about the Kaveri issue. Think from Punjab, Haryana and Rajasthan, Satlaj Yamuna link problem as well. Then on November 19th, please see that the three army Jawans are actually killed by Ulfa and the NSCNK. So these two groups are together. Whenever any insurgency groups come together and do any act, it becomes important for us. Is that fine? So after this, please see Sep November 25th, where you have to see about the measure taken by the Supreme Court to curb air pollution. Before that, on November 21st, India becomes an associate member of the Geneva-based European Organization for Nuclear Research, that is CERN. UPSC has already asked questions about the CERN. So please be careful about it. And on November 30, the Supreme Court said that it is mandatory for everyone to stand up to show respect to the national anthem. Here, most of you may be thinking about what question can come. I would say try to read about when was national anthem adopted, in which language it was adopted, when was it first sung. All these are actually present in the India yearbook. So please try to collect information about those topics this time. And on December 7th, you have Israel launching Resource Sat 2A satellite. In science and tech point of view, this is important. And on December 12th, focus on Cyclone Varda. And on December 16th, we have to focus on the Lok Sabha, which passed the Persons with Disabilities Bill. So these are some of the major news that is important from both prelims and mains point of view, that is from India. There are some other issues which are important internationally. Apart from this, the government has given what all it has achieved as per every department. So this will come in India yearbook. Along with that, if there is anything missing, that we will be focusing in the next session where I'll take the reports which are present in PIB and tell you what are the factors that you need to consider apart from what is there in the India yearbook. Similarly, we will have a session on India yearbook where I'll be helping you to identify the important lines. Why are we focusing on important lines rather than looking at important issues? The reason for this is, whenever you take certain papers, the exact language may become important, especially when we read India Yearbook and Economic Survey, I'll be repeating it again, where it is very, very important for us to know what exactly is the line given in the book, because there is high possibility that the same language may be repeated. Now, after this, let us move to international relations. There, majority of the topics are not so important, but there are few which may become important for this year. 
so we will be focusing only from those aspects which is continuing and if it had any significance in the international relations there is not much to see so let's move quickly first try to see jan 14th where there is an end to ebola outbreak so ebola virus whenever they ask you please try to remember where it started and all jan 16th us lifts sanctions against iran so post us lifting the sanction what is the significance now trump is back to power where he is telling that he will again think of sanctions against iran so you have to be careful about what exactly his focus will be and feb 15th is about china's trading hub of eu the first train arrives in tehran that is in iran so we have to be careful that chinese and iran is coming closer though india is having good relations with iran the problem is the china pakistan economic corridor which is ending in gadar port iran wants to be part of this so it is important for us to have an eye about what exactly china is planning in its maritime silk route then you see march march 2nd indian um, ambassadors or near the indian consulate there was a terror attack in afghanistan and even the afghan president keeps saying that this is the handy work of pakistan so that becomes important us is a travel and trade restrictions to cuba everyone was expecting a question on cuba from world history point of view the question can be with respect to the cuban missile crisis and from other issues you have to see geographically where cuba is present what separates cuba from united states that is the florida so all this can be asked so please try to see this carefully once then focus on april 4th panama papers hawala transactions black money it may be important the second important thing that you need to see is with respect to panama geographically panama canal may be asked panama is in between which two countries may be asked panama is in between which two seas may be asked so please be careful about the panama canal issue then on april 11 you have a news about the zika virus so please try to read about this in which countries it is present it is affecting which continent and what are the problems associated with this disease then focus on may 23rd relationship between india and iran over the chabbar port which gives access to central asia and afghanistan please see from geography point of view where exactly the chabbar port is present it opens to which sea whether it is to persian gulf or gulf of oman and then you have to see iran is in between which two seas geography through maps becomes important here then please focus on may 27 where obama pays visit to hiroshima this is important from the world history point of view there can be question on world war and if you want to see more in detail try to see the four islands in japan from north to south and the important cities which are present in each one of these then you have to focus on june 9th where we will be reading about maldives criminal court jails former vice president ahmed abid for 15 years for plotting to kill president abdullah yamin and this judgment actually led to lot of criticism of the maldivian government and it was criticized across the world when criticism was there in commonwealth and other places india supported maldivian president and to give 
thanks or to say thanks to India, he came to India and he told that Maldivian foreign policy will be India first again. There was some problem with Indo-Maldives relationship. Now it is positive and the positivity was because of these incidents. June 11th, we are seeing with respect to solar impulse to the solar powered airplane on a globe circling voyage that began in March 2015 from Abu Dhabi. Capital completes a trip across US. So this from science and technology point of view is important. Then please see June 23rd a referendum in European Union, a referendum in UK, whether to stay in European Union or not. And we know that the people have agreed to come out of the European Union. Then focus on July 1st, where in Bangladesh, there was a terror attack. Anything which happens in our neighborhood is important for us. So please try to focus on that again. July 5th, from science and technology point of view, solar powered Juno spacecraft successfully enters Jupiter's orbit. After that, July 12th, which is very, very important for us, the South China Sea where it rejects the legal validity of the nine dash line. Already a question is asked in mains geography. So there can be a question in prelims as well. So please be careful. July 14th, at least 84 people are killed and 308 injured after a massive truck when it went through the crowds. After ISIS coming to the picture, there is a new term in internal security and terrorism that is lone wolf attacks. Earlier, a group of people used to aim for terror attacks. Now it is only one or two groups or even a single individual is doing this. So this is called as lone wolf attack. Whenever you are talking about terror attacks now, this is important. So. In this page, we have to focus first on September 3rd, where US and China formally join the Paris climate deal. They ratify. It is important. Then see about Mother Teresa canonization. September 9th, North Korea conducts its first or its largest atomic test. Points which may be important just to see once. Then October 7, US lifts economic sanctions on Myanmar. This is important because the military regiment which was there against it, the US has actually fought and one last thing which we missed, September 15th, China launches Tiangong-2, its space lab, from Jiuquan Satellite Center in Gobi Desert. I don't know how you pronounce it exactly. Not important, but try to read once. And on October 8th, the Yemen crisis, geography questions may come rather than asking a question in IR about the MN crisis and who is fighting against whom. Then guys, see November 4th, where the focus is on Paris agreement on climate change enters into force. And November 11, India signs a nuclear deal with Japan, the first non-NPT nation to sign so and then November 13 we have to focus on China Pakistan economic corridor which is becoming a reality 
and a threat to India as well. And on November 17, if you can see, Marrakesh action is very, very important. Proclamation is adopted by over 200 nations attending the 22nd session of the Conference of the Parties in Morocco. There can be a direct question about this Marrakesh action associated with what? So it becomes important for you. December 1st, the Mercosur trade group suspends Venezuela over failure to comply with commitments while joining the formation in 2012. So this Mercosur group, which is in Latin America or South America, Venezuela is suspended. So Mercosur itself can be asked. And on December 2nd, there is something with respect to Donald Trump talking to Taiwan president and it made a lot of issues between China and United States. It questioned the one China policy. Then December 11th, please see that Venezuela demonetizes 100 Bolivar bills similar to India going for demonetization, even they also went for demonetization. December 15th is very, very important for you, where the focus is on China seizes a drone in the South China Sea deployed by US oceanographic vessel USNS Bowditch. You can talk about Indochina or South China Sea dispute. This point will be important. And the last point is with respect to December 31st, where the UN Security Council endorses Syria ceasefire violations. So guys, with this, we have actually completed the national and important Important international news right so after seeing national and important international news the other issues which are there is with respect to persons in news and also sports these two are not much important if at all you have to see you can focus on Fidel Castro Cuba is important as I have already told you Apart from that, nothing else is required. Meanwhile, if you have any doubts or any clarifications required, you can feel free to contact me. Myself, Sandeep, and my mail ID is sandeep.bupalam at gmail.com. Apart from current affairs, if there is any issues, also you can contact. You can call me at double nine seven two triple zero three one eight. Fine. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching.